Hello to all my dear panelists and the viewers watching it through YouTube. Welcome to the panel discussion of the Division N. I'm Toastmaster Sensna, moderator for today's session. Today's panel discussion is about one of the most important role of the Executive Committee, that is Vice President Education. In short, VPED. The job of the Vice President Education is to plan, organize, and implement the meeting to fit the chosen speeches, education modules, and related events to the member's need. When the member completes a speech or a major achievement, the Vice President Education initiates the manuals or contacts Toastmaster to ensure proper recognition. Today, in our panel discussion, we have three Vice President of Education as panelists with us. The first panelist for of today's session is Toastmaster Vaghav Zarkar, the Vice President of Education of Nagpur Toastmaster Club. Second, we have Toastmaster Rishikesh Kavalkar, the Vice President of Education of Loyal Toastmaster Club. And last but not the least, we have Toastmaster Shruti Thokne from SSI PMT Spellbinders Club. The flow of our uh, panel discussion will go on the way that I'll ask a separate question to one uh, to each one of our panelists to share their thoughts on that question. And after that, I'll ask some common question and all the panelists will have to answer this. So let's start the session with my first question, which is for Toastmaster Shruti, our youngest panelist and Vice President Education. So Toastmaster Shruti, I want you to share your story, how you were elected as Vice President Education of your club what motivated you to take this leadership role at a very early age? Thank you, Toastmaster Sanjana. And first of all, thank you for this opportunity. So me being the Vice President Education from my club is quite a story uh, because I didn't get elected as the Vice President through elections. So what happened is that after our elections got done, the, the current Vice President that was elected left the club after one month due to some or other other issues and then i then our club was struggling very much because we didn't have a vice president education that is um, one of the most important roles and none other was ready to come up to take up this role then i came up to take up this role uh, because before the elections my mentor asked me to stand for this role and I refused because I didn't have confidence in myself. But then I realized that if she thinks I can be one, then why not? And this way, I got elected as the Vice President of Education from my club. Okay, that's really great. Like in Toastmaster, if uh, you feel a low confidence, there are a lot of people which motivate you and uh, make you confident about your own self. And that is the you know, speciality of Toastmaster that people help each other. And as you said that your mentor motivated you to take the role. Yes. Okay, thank you Toastmaster Shruti. Thank now you. my next question is for uh, Toastmaster Webhav. As a VPED, the most grueling task is to organize well-planned club meeting. So what are the difficulties and challenges that you face to organize club meeting? Like sometimes in club, members are demotivated or unwilling to take any role. So how did you tackle that situation? Thank you, Toastmaster Sena. I hope I am audible. Yes, you are. And uh, I, my apologies for the background sounds because I'm just traveling back home and I'm right now in a stationary car. So uh, we'll have to bear with that. So coming to the question, uh, Yes, you rightly mentioned it is a grueling task to attain meet, uh, to arrange for the meetings and find all the role players to uh, do various roles during the meeting. Uh, what we tried in my first uh, six months of the meeting was that we created few groups. We created teams within our Toastmasters, uh, the entire population that we had. And we wanted each group to nominate for each role so that they would get points for the each role. So the, the meteor roles would carry more points the lesser roles would carry slightly lesser points. And uh, we had elected captains for those respective teams and it was their responsibility to identify for each role and then uh, ensure that those role players, the nominated role players attend the meeting. 
this did work well for because the first half uh, i i really did not have to put my brains across in finding out people or calling for the names to motivate them to take the roles because the captains did that for me and it, uh, we we saw that uh, they get some nomination they get some recognition at the end of this uh, six months experience so that was one thing that we tried but uh, yeah in more regular meeting uh, we we are observing that people are quite fed up of the online meetings and though they are looking out for coming back to the physical meetings uh, in a way the physical meeting is more tiresome because you have to travel to the designated location and we are also seeing on the other hand that people are getting some reluctance in coming to the physical meeting because it was much easier logging in front of your camera or laptop and attend the meeting or play a role so here also we are trying to come up with some incentives uh, though we have not yet i would not like to disclose right away because that's still in the discussion stage but yeah these are few things that we've tried and uh, it has worked uh, pretty well for us i hope that answers your question yes that's a great like uh, as a vice president education that you are a leader and being a leader is uh, not being a boss but uh, it's it's like you circulate your task with uh, teams and that's what you are doing i think for uh, your edu- vice president education role that you make a team which is uh, doing a task for you so you are really well maintaining with it because vice being a vice president education and organizing a meeting every week it's kind of for me like i was when i was a vice president edu- at education it was a herculean task for me but uh, now i will i'm not a vice president with education but who will be watching it definitely gain from it and uh, will get, get the tip from you that how did you maintain and circulate the task so thank you to master webber and i hope for uh, the physical meeting also you will find a great way okay so now moving to our next question so my next question is for those master rushikesh those master rushikesh what do you think that what prior experience one should have to serve the club as vice president education can one may take this leadership role without any experience also well thank you so much toastmaster sanjana for the question and opportunity uh what are the three qualities a vph should have first is expandable network second is leadership third is people skills well i did not had any of this quality in me and the moment i decided that i want to be an vpa that moment was enough for me i have learned people skills my network is very much sounding in division my people skills has been increased or being uh, has been like become very much good nowadays so all the skills i have learned after being a vpa after playing or after getting this responsibility after understanding each and every circumstances how to manage people how to manage a team i got this experience so i don't think so that you should have any kind of prior experience that decision to become a vpa that's enough for you okay thank you those master rashikesh as you said that uh, you do not have any prior experience so what i think like in those master like those master as those master should be answered a mentor a mentor told her to be a uh, vice president education and like as you said you were, you had not any prior experience but i think after getting into the le- leadership role you get you learn a lot of things and after that you will get an experience okay so like it's it i think it's a said that uh, you just don't need to learn everything and then start you just need to start it and you will learn it after it so that's how with your answer how a viewer will definitely learn that uh, one not need any prior experience to to be a leader just they have to decide that they want to do something like in their life or they want to be a leader and when they will start they will learn it okay so thank you all of all three of you for answering the question now i will ask a question that will be for all three of you okay we'll go with uh, first toastmaster wrap up then followed by toastmaster shruti 
and then toastmaster reciprocate okay so my question is in toastmaster people learn leadership and as you all are already serving your club as a leader so what did you learn from your leadership role as a vice president education what is your take away and if one should have a question in their mind that why do they take the vice president education role then what would be uh, your answer that what value this role add can add to someone's life so we'll go over to master ram yes quite a long and interesting interesting question sandana see essentially toastmasters is all about uh, people uh, servant leadership as they call it it's, it's all about an opportunity that you get as a leader to serve people if you have that bend of mind where you want to help people achieve their goal of uh, improving their public skills or learning leadership skills this is a role obviously that you want to get into you get an opportunity to talk to many people to understand what kind of interests what kind of motives they have behind joining the toastmasters you understand their life stories what has made them join toastmasters in first place because you would obviously hear that people are uh, because of some incident many of times many a times that because of some incident that they were in 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 uh, corporate life maybe they were uh, look beyond for promotion for somebody else when they did not have enough leadership skills or people skills and they that's when they decide to look for something that will help them build these skills so you get to understand those uh, life stories of many people and uh, my biggest takeaway would be for for the leadership skills uh, there's something that is most important in, in especially in today's times when covid has changed uh, the way we look at everything empathy is something that we understand is a very very crucial part of being a good leader so when you have that empathetic bent of mind you understand where the person that you are talking to is coming from and what are his uh, pain areas and how you can help and assist them in overcoming those pain areas and problems so that they do better in their life and of course the satisfaction of seeing somebody whom you have helped do better and uh, this toastmasters learning that they get or the skills that they develop if they are able to put in their lives and make use of it and grow because of it that's that's quite satisfying so that's yeah. that would be what my answer would be and for somebody who would want to look for uh, taking up this role uh, my single answer would be an opportunity to help others that's that's something that i really cherish being a vpn okay thank you toastmaster babu now i want toastmaster shubhi to answer the thank you toastmaster sir so the role of vice president education is quite a a big and important role in itself you talk to new people you maintain records you you uh, track growth growth of people through pathways and education projects so it's all in all a complete uh, role of an leader or what we say as uh, the the head of an whatever uh, so you learn a lot of things from this role definitely uh, like for me i i hardly talk to anybody i know before taking up this role and being an introvert that was uh, such a difficult part but eventually i learned and now i am able to talk to people i frequently message uh, people which i haven't talked to before so this teaches you all of the uh, most of the life skills like time management managing people and motivating them persuading them and what not my so um, my biggest takeaway would be i learned communication skill definitely I learn how to ask for favor. I learn how to talk to new people, and yeah, that's all. Okay, thank you, Toastmaster Shruti. Now I would like Toastmaster Rishikesh to answer the question. Well, Toastmaster Vaibha and Shruti already added their point. Would just like to add some more point to that. That when I joined Toastmaster, it was for communication only for my personal development. That's all. after being there for like 6 months and getting into in leadership getting into in excom i got to know that my forte is leadership not communication only so 
that's why i chose this role of vpl so leadership is my forte so definitely one thing i, I learned from this role is that leadership the second thing that the network i have came across so many incredible people i got to know them i got to know their stories i got to know how they are in their personal life that's the biggest experience i have received uh, so far now uh, after being elected as a vpl so to answer your question my biggest take away from this role is one leadership and second is my network that's all okay thank you so much rishikesh from the answer of all of you three what i feel from you all guys is that uh, by taking the role of uh, vice president education one can learn leadership networking and one can learn the the empathy the feeling of helping others like there is a quote that i helped a man to climb a hill and i saw myself uh, uh, at the top of the hill it's it's a hill right okay so yeah what toastmaster help uh, what toastmaster teaches is just not to growing yourself by alone but uh, helping each other making a community and by helping each other you will grow more by walking alone it's it's not a path of toastmaster but we all grow together in toastmaster okay so my next question or uh, and my last question of the today's session is i want all my panelists to share some easy tips and tricks to handle the role of vped so that our present and upcoming vice president education and the members who will be watching this can handle the role of vice president education in more efficient and better way okay so we will start it from toastmaster shruti and then move from after toastmaster shruti toastmaster rishikesh and then toastmaster vipul thank you toastmaster so <clears throat> i would i would say that we do not need a lot of tips and tricks just a bit of organizing and like for me i i updates the excel sheets as the role lives list just after the current meeting for the next meeting this way you don't forget which i mostly do and uh, you also get a lot of time so that the people come and fill the roles and uh, another thing what we do is to uh, make uh, sorry yeah we make speech slots in advance for the month for each month so that we do not have to look for speakers all the time and also uh, we also uh, uh, try to fix the big roles like those master of the day the topic master and general evaluator or and also keep a backup for this so that for the so for the last moment back up uh, back outs we do not mess up and uh, um and i'm i think i'm still learning from this so this is all i got for now thank you those master shruti those master rishikesh yes if you would have asked me this question uh, in the first starting months of my journey i would have uh, suggest all the member who is watching this thing that do not take the role of vp yet <laughs> but uh, after coming so far that like after completing my journey as a vp ed i just want to give one advice to everyone that do not think that this is like the most crucial role this will, this will have a lot of responsibility and all just take it this is the first step you will take and after that everything will fall in your plate i have experienced this thing i have done a lot of crying to my president that no ma'am this is not happening this is not doing I, how can i cope with it my time how can i cope with my work life nothing was going uh, in a correct way but in the end everything get got sorted and we managed to acquire 10 on 10 dcp so do not think a lot that this is a very huge responsibility or a big role just take it and experience it then you will get to know that what is the real beauty and relish the pleasure of uh, being vp ed thank you so much toastmaster rishikesh toastmaster babu 
great uh, congratulations rishikesh for the 10 dcb points first and uh, add on to what uh, rishikesh and shruti have said i would say this role has uh, two fold accountability first is towards your excom which is where the dcb points and other things come and other is towards your members the members of the club so it's uh, essentially you are the person who is looking after for whatever term that you've chosen for you've been elected for that the person grows and in a way he grows he or all the members grow in line with what you've decided for your excom as a goal as a common goal which essentially is like rishikesh has earned it the 10 dcp points so you have to be very very careful in in terms of looking at uh, that angle also so uh, being an excom member this is your first goal that uh, a common goal which you want to achieve is the dcp points and you want your club to be a president distinguished club that's how more members come and it effectively earning those dcp points means that your club are doing right things on all the right parameters apart from and all of you would know and i would just like to reiterate that the education goals are the maximum in number in terms of the dcp points so you have six goals in terms of uh, education so that's that's something that you have to keep in mind that all the members do get an opportunity at the same time you are also working towards achieving those uh, required six goals so that you have at any given point you have different different uh, speakers at different different levels who would help you achieve those goals plus uh, the members also uh, have their journey sorted out and like shruti said the planning organizing skills are essential where you have to understand like i said in in keeping in line with those goals you have to allot proper speech slots proper role players and i'll slightly uh, like to disagree with rushikesh here that though you would want people to take up this job without thinking that this is a grueling job but it trust me it is it does have a lot of demand on your time it does require a lot of record keeping so if uh, i mean uh, honestly everybody who wants to take up a role has that accountability to do well in that role towards the club so if you have that that much time that much bandwidth i would uh, advise people to take up role because nobody wants to do any injustice to the role that they take up because it's an accountability towards the members as well as the other excom members and your club in a whole so if you really are hard pressed for time or do not have proficiency for record keeping i would suggest to keep away from this role because it does require that work to be done honestly so yes in a way it's it's right it teaches you a lot it gives you a lot of networking opportunity and it helps you become a better person become a better leader but it does require a lot of work as well so that's that's something that would i would want to advise people who are uh, looking to take up the role but it's fun that's also true okay. back to you thank you so much dosmit sahab what i learned from it like if you want to take the vice president education role you need to be a little wise w i s right and then you have to plan it before and uh, as those master shruti said you need a backup those master rushikesh said just take it then everything comes to your fall to your plate just take the role and as those master backup said that you just need a free time and uh, i think if you want to learn from those master you have to take a ta- uh, you have to manage your time for those master okay so with your answer what i learned is one can go uh, by taking the vice president education role one can go to the journey of becoming wise wiser and wisest in their life and that's how those master help us becoming a better version of ourselves with this thank you toastmaster rabhav toastmaster shruti and toastmaster rishikesh for answering to all my question wisely i hope people will, uh, who will be watching this can gain a lot from it and with that let's end the session wish you all the very best for uh, your future journey as a toastmaster bye bye good night